In Malaysia, food holds a unique spot as a source of pride and a symbol of unity. However, amid the colourful markets and street food stalls, a hidden struggle looms, food security. Behind closed doors, many Malaysians face uncertainty when it comes to their next meal. This is an urgent call for us to ensure that no Malaysian goes to bed hungry. So what exactly is food security? Food security is when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient safe and nutritious food that meet their dietary needs and food preferences when active and healthy life. In 2050, Malaysia's population is projecting to reach 40.5 million, which is roughly a 31% increase from today's population. Not only is our country get population getting bigger, but it's also getting denser, and we will need to grow significantly more food using significantly less land and resources. The number of imported food in Malaysia has grown exponentially over the years. Relying heavily on food imports exposes Malaysia to fluctuations in global food prices. This dependency leaves us vulnerable to sudden price hikes, affecting the affordability of essential food items, particularly for low-income households. Climate changes like drought and floods are also constantly threatening Malaysia's food security as they pose massive risks to crop yields and overall agricultural productivity. One of the best ways to ensure Malaysia's food security is by carrying out controlled environment agriculture, or CEA, also known as indoor vertical farming. CEA refers to the practice of growing plants in a controlled environment using technologies like artificial lighting, climate control, hydroponics or aeroponics monitoring and automation. This farm grows food three-dimensionally in vertical racks as opposed to two-dimension of conventional farms. CEA optimizes plant growth and maximizes crop production while significantly minimizing the use of resources such as water, land and pesticides. By carrying out CEA, we have year-round agricultural production, consistent quality and predictable output. In a CEA system, various factors like temperature, humidity, light, carbon dioxide level and nutrient delivery are precisely controlled to create an ideal environment for plant growth. This allows farmers to cultivate crops throughout the year regardless of external weather conditions or geographic limitations. So how does the knowledge of physics, chemistry and biology and mathematics relate and integrate with each other to make all of this possible? Well, physics principles are used to understand how light interacts with plants and how different wavelengths of light affect plant growth. This knowledge is applied in choosing and designing artificial lighting systems for optimal plant development. Besides, the physics principles also help in managing temperature and heat exchange within controlled environment. Understanding the heat transfer mechanism aids in designing heating, ventilation and cooling system for maintaining optimal temperatures for plant growth. Chemistry, on the other hand, plays a crucial role in understanding plant nutrition and formulating nutrient solutions for hydroponic or soilless cultivation. Knowledge of chemical reactions and equilibrium helps in maintaining proper nutrients for concentration and pH levels. Apart from that, chemistry is applied to assess water quality including pH, mineral content and the presence of contaminants. Chemical analysis helps to ensure that water is used for irrigation or hydroponics is suitable for plant growth and free from harmful substances. Biology is fundamentally understanding plant physiology, growth processes and nutrient uptake. Knowledge of plant biology guides decision on light intensity, photo period, temperature and nutrient requir requirement for optimal plant growth. Furthermore, biological principles are employed in identifying and managing pests and disease in controlled environments. This includes understanding the life cycle of pests and diseases causing pathogen and biological control methods. Last but not least, mathematics is also used to create models that stimulate and predict plant growth, resource utilization and environmental conditions. Optimization algorithms assist in maximizing crop yields, resource efficiency, and profitability in CEA system. Moreover, mathematical calculations are used to determine the precise amount and timing of irrigation and fertilizer application based on plant growth stage, water uptake, nutrient requirements, and environmental factors. What makes CEA so special in ensuring Malaysia's food security? CEA can be carried out everywhere, whether it is in urban city centers or rural areas. This helps in shortening the agricultural supply chain and maintaining the nutritional content of fruits and vegetables. All abandoned buildings can also be repurposed to build CEA farms to reduce waste. In addition, research and development can be carried out in CEA farms to produce new varieties and better quality seeds that are resistant to environmental changes. In conclusion, we believe that controlled environment agriculture is an awesome way to encourage the involvement of young generation in agricultural field, subsequently ensuring our nation's food security for centuries to come. Thank you.